Hi everyone. So I'm um, doing this terrible thing like videoing, driving down the road, and I've got my phone hooked on this little pop socket pocket on my dashboard. I'm probably just doing what every cop in town would hate me to do, but. I've been saying for a while, my daughter and I, I'm at a stoplight right now, so my daughter and I have been saying for a while that we were going to start a vlog, and I tried a blog one time, and I got into this direct sales company, and like I did a couple lives on that, and anyway, I always, you know, typically back out of everything, so I can't guarantee that I'll keep up with this at all, but I do have a YouTube channel. I've deleted most of my videos off of there. Um, but I was going to do like another video and post it, just something that keeps like that I've been reminded of for several times this week with the rain and things that we have going on. So I just wanted to kind of share it with other people and, you know, maybe it'll, um, you know, hold in somebody's heart the same way that it did with mine. So some of my pretty close friends, we've kind of jokingly, you know, or I've jokingly told them, you know, I'm not going to let so-and-so bother me or such-and-such such bother me because I'm trying to get right with the Lord, and we would say it in a joking matter, but, you know, it is it is the truth. I've been for three or four years now out of church, and I'd said, you know, about a month ago that I was going to give it a shot again and, you know, try to put my doubts and fears aside and do this again, and it's really proven to be you know, a very positive thing in my life, but I do a, um, I'm part of a support group at the church that I go to, and the book that we're working out of is by, um, a man that is in some way or another connected to Rick Warren, who's a pastor on the West Coast in California, um, at, I think it's Saddle Brook Church, but, I mean, you know, he's, He's well known, you know, he's got like the um, Purpose Driven Life book and things like that. So, I mean, he, he's, it's a, you know, well known name, but I've been listening to some of his messages as I've been getting ready in the morning and then sometimes when I can't sleep at night, I'll like turn on the YouTube through my Roku app and just watch something on the TV till I fall asleep or like I said, while I'm getting ready. Well, one of the messages, it's an old sermon that like from 2016 and it's you know, so many messages, and he's talking about the Beatitudes, but for me, I, you know, I, I can recite, you know, I can memorize and then recite scriptures, but um, something that, you know, is more meaningful to me or something that I hold on to better, I should say, are these little catchphrases and things that I can really, really relate to, and of course, I like rhymes and riddles and things like that, but in one of the messages that he he gives like these two phrases um one is you have to let it out or you're going to act it out and then in that same you know message right along with it he says you, you know you need to talk it out or uh, you're going to take it out so let it out or act it out talk it out or take it out so you know they were things that i jotted down but all this week I've been reminded of it and with the rain and stuff so I have a, you know I have a decent car but it doesn't have air conditioner and when I take it to somebody that has the time to fix it they want to tell me that the entire system is messed up if I take it to somebody that you know would charge me less but they do things on the side they tell me other things that would actually fix it but you know they just don't have the time or whatever so anyway long story short whenever it's rainy like it has been I am like miserable in my car like even right now even though I'm in a relatively good mood and for once my hair looks decent and stuff I'm like I'm sweating like if you were to get up close to me or like touch my skin I'm so sweaty but I've been reminded of it every single day because it's just like riding in this car when I can't let down the windows everything is stuck in here you know the funk from like my body if I've been working all day or from Hannah she's not with me right now so I'm talking about her behind her back but you know Hannah will, is famous for getting in the car and wanting to take her shoes off and I mean sometimes her feet are funky 
and like it's stuck in here I let Moose ride with me Moose is my chocolate lab I let him ride with me sometimes and like his funk is in here but you know what I've been reminded of all week and it's just been a reminder of what Rick Warren was saying that if we let things stay stuck in they're going to like make us miserable they're going to cause other problems you know make us stink when we get out the car and you know the the phrases of let it out or act it out you know if you're going through something and I've noticed this with co-workers at work or just acquaintances that I run into I may know about some things that they're going through in their life and I can see it reflected in the way that they then act at work or act towards other people and it's because they aren't letting that thing that hurt that burden whatever it might be because they're not letting it out they're then acting it out and it's the same thing with you know talk it out or take it out you know if you have something going on whether it be an upset you have with somebody and ang you know an angry feeling that you have excuse me I'm sorry indigestion you know an angry feeling that you have towards somebody whatever it might be if you don't talk it out with somebody that you trust somebody that you can confide in whether it be a friend a counselor or family member Jesus whoever it might be if you don't talk it out you're gonna end up taking it out on the wrong people and in the wrong way so you know when you have something that is any type of negativity in your life if you handle it in a healthy way if you let it out healthily then you're not going to act it out in an unhealthy way you're not going to create more problems and more burdens for yourself because you didn't let it out and it's the same thing like me riding in this car and like it's a good thing I brushed my teeth before I left because like my breath is probably filling up I don't know if you can even tell but like my windows are a little bit foggy and I can't turn the defrost on because it's 77 degrees right now but I really can't roll the windows down because it's a little bit rainy and I don't have rain guards so the rain will come in but if I could like if I was to let the window down it's just this freshness but because the funk can get out the fresh can get in like roll this if I roll this window down a little bit yeah my hair starts blowing but it's like immediately I can breathe you know I feel this coolness on my face I could kind of like you know get some air in my pits and stuff and like not feel so funky and I feel like that's the same thing about life if we will get some of the funk out in healthy ways for me it's journaling I, I love to journal and I, I like to be able to go back and find a day and look at it a year later and see where I've come what I've learned what I've made mistakes on again whatever it might be I'm gonna roll this back up so y'all can hear me and I've gotten a little bit of fresh air it I feel like that that's what's been put in my heart all week is that you know I heard that message from Rick Warren but every single day I've gotten into my car and I've been reminded of it just the funk that we have in our lives and if we just like let it out in a healthy way then it prevents us from the unhealthy things if we focus on the positive then it overpowers the negative and I just because I've been reminded of it and seen it firsthand like co you know co-workers people that I work with people in my own family you know it, it you don't always need to know what people are going through you don't need to know what they're dealing with because the fact of the matter is whether you know it or not they're dealing with something but I've come to realize that normally when we're acting things out, like in the phrase, you know, the let it out or act it out. So like when we see people, what we're doing it ourselves or we engage with people that are doing these things, if they are acting out negatively, it's because they're not letting out positively. And the same goes for somebody who's taking, you know, like negatively you know reacting or acting towards you they're taking it out on you or taking it out on somebody else because they didn't talk it out in the proper way so I'm really just hoping that you know 
you know, it, it's not my, it's not my message. You know, it, I, it came from Rick Warren. It's his little phrases and things that he's put together, but it, because I've been reminded of it so many times this week, I really just wanted to share it with somebody else. And I'm going to get off here because I'm getting ready to get on Ward's Road and traffic over here with LU is probably a nightmare. So, um, I hope you all have a good evening and talk to you later. Peace.